Hilo uli sa inyong lahat. Kung napanood nyo na ang part 1 ng ating uh, paluwagan ng Excel, uh, itong video na to, ito yung part 2. Ang part 2 na ito ay eh, dito tayo gagawa ng uh, completed dashboard. Uh, but bago tayo gumawa ng dashboard, dapat meron muna tayong detailed view and then meron din tayong date view. So itong dalawang um, worksheet na to ginawa natin ng part 1 and then itong part 2 gagawin natin yung dashboard. So as in any other dashboard, we will of course uh, start first with a skeletal uh, dashboard. No? Kailangan gum um, mag-sketch muna tayo. Gawin natin kung anong structure ng ating dashboard. Let's try to draw something yung mga boxes, text boxes, and how are we going to place them inside a dashboard. And then, we would also would like to identify kung ano ba yung mga key metrics na gusto natin ilagay sa ating dashboards. And then, later on, we will try to to assemble yung ating key metrics kung saan ba natin lalagay kung saan bang mga uh, importanting uh, metrics ang gusto natin ilagay and which part of the dashboard. So, as a rule, uh, yung pinakataas ng ating dashboard since yun ang uh, unang nakikita ng ating mga consumers or ating mga viewers, doon natin ilalagay ang ating most important metrics sa dashboards. And then, as we go down throughout the, the dashboard, we can input some of the less um, priority uh, metrics that we have. But nevertheless, all metrics that we have in our dashboards are deemed very important. So, yung ating mga metrics, ito lang yung metrics na aking naisip na gusto kong ilagay sa ating dashboard. Ito yung ating uh, skeletal dashboards. No? Itong mga headers na to, all we need to do is we can just uh, link it dun sa ating dashboard. So, okay, we can just select yung ating mga borders uh, or shapes and then equal sign. Then, let's go to doon sa ating detail view and reference it here. Let's see. but hindi lumalabas? Okay, ayan. Lumabas na siya. And then, we can just make it a little bigger and let's align it. Let's change the alignment. Let's make it bold. So, okay na muna yan. Uh, later on, we will do some edits. And then, dito, uh, what we can do is we can to pay this week. Okay, and then dito, next is uh, dito gusto ko naman is yung total contribution. So, ganun lang. For all the metrics including our dashboard, we just have to refer it to, to their headers. Total contribution. Uh, para hindi na na tayo magta-type. And then dito naman is uh, and then dito naman is uh, yung total payout. So, total payout. So, enter. Ganyan lang. I will do the rest and then I'll come back. I'll provide you in the rest of the uh, unfinished dashboard pero ililink ko muna sila lahat. So, once na nagawa na natin ng reference yung lahat ng mga dun sa ating dashboard, ang ating namang next na gagawin is ta lalagyan natin mga computations dito computations, number, and dates depende dun, depende dun sa metrics na na-identify nyo we, we, we will start computing those metrics. So, katulad nito date to day, ang shortcut lang ng day to day is control and then sem sem semicolon enter. Dalawa yung computation natin ng day to day later on malalaman natin back. And then week number formula lang for week number week number and then, let's reference it dun sa day-to-day. -day. Ang next natin gagawin is yung mod formula. So, itong mod form formula, ang, ginag ang ginagawa niya lang is the, it says it returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So, it will help us to identify kung sino sa mga members natin ang sesweldo for this week. So, that's uh, mod lang. Ang number natin is yung reference number natin. Yan ang ating mag magiging uh, uh, number to divide. And then, ang ating divisor is yung number of uh, members natin. Uh, 
I-highlight lang natin tong column na to. Pag nakita na natin yung down arrow, then let's just click it. Oh, sorry. Count. Let's count. Count muna. Let's should count. Count, ha? And then, ang value is ito. Um, pag lumabas na yung down arrow, let's click it. Let's close the count, ha? Let's close the mod formula. So, um, ang remainder natin is 1. Okay, to pay this week, we will use the formula week number and also yung mod formula na ginawa natin. Ang formula lang is if this mod formula is equivalent to 0, then we'll use indexed. Ang array natin is, is itong uh, list of name. Again, pagka uh, natin yung arrow uh, natin at may lumalabas na na malaking uh, uh, down arrow, we should just click it. And then, comma, ang row number natin is, the, we will use the count A again. And then, again, click it. Yung name, close parenthesis. Another close parenthesis to close the index. And then, otherwise, if the value is false, we will use the index. Array again is this one. Kama. Ang ating row number is yung mod formula. Then close parenthesis for the index to close the index formula. And then another close parenthesis to close the if formula. So now we are on week 5. Si Joy ang sesweldo. Kasi uh, ang week 1 natin is si Joy. That's week 1. Week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5. Bumalik ulit kay Joy. So that's how we compute for the, um, for considering si Sweldo for this week. Let's say baguhin natin. Ang week number natin, uh, let's say, ang date natin ngayon is, ta, baguhin na lang, lang natin is ta, February 14. So nasa week 8 tayo. So, if we will count 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, si Lina and si Suelda, that's, that's why si Lina normal ang basa formula natin. We'll proceed with the next formula. Okay, before we go to the other metrics, we'll just change the format nung dalawang dates. Uh, we'll just press Control 1 and then we'll go to Custom. Yung una, we'll just press 3 M's para lumabas yung word na January. And then, yung pangalawa, we'll press Control 1 again. Custom. And then, for this one, we'll just press 2 this. Okay, para later on, malalaman natin why we, we need to have 2 dates. Ang ating next metric ay total contribution. Ang formula lang is sum if. Ang range natin is itong type. Okay. And then, the criteria natin is it. Pwede na lang natin i-reference dito sa dito. And then, ang sum range natin is yung amount. Total payout, same uh, formula. You can just copy it. And then, 400. 400 ang kanyang total. So, now it's referencing dun sa payout instead of the contribution. How many members? Of course, yung formula na ginawa natin kani account ta, we can just highlight this and then close parenthesis and then enter. Ay, yung week number uli, siguro we'll just take it out na lang. Na double lang kanina. Okay, ang ating year started this, ang ating formula is the minimum. Then, just this date, close parenthesis, enter. Let's text. Let's change the format ng ating uh, formula. So, now here, 2021 tayo nag-start ng ating paluwagan. So, number of payouts is just sum if lang or count if. Count if. Range natin is this one. And then, ang ating criteria is it is equivalent to payout. 
dalawa uh, for this example is isang at isa pa lang ating payout okay now that we have all our calculations created all we need to do next is just to link it up or uh, to create a link for all these numbers or dates or text to our dashboards here So, uh, para pala makapin natin yung format ng isang um, ng text box, ang ginawa ko lang dito is uh, kinontrol shift B ko, then kinontrol shift C. ginawa ko lang, kinontrol A ko and then para mapalitan ko lahat ng text um, text format and then I choose the area block control A para ma-choose lahat ng uh, text and text boxes and then it will um, adjust or format all the text into the uh, format that you choose in my case, area block So this is the reason why we have two dates now kasi I want the January at the top and then the, the day at the bottom. So we can select uh, multiple text boxes and then we can format them uh, all at once.
Okay, pagka nagka-copy ulit tayo, bumabalik yung format dun sa original, um, dun sa default. It's okay, we'll fix it up later. Okay, so ang ginawa ko lang, I choose yung 4 to copy the format again, Control shift c and then to paste the format, Control shift v So for this one, nalagyan natin siya ng hyperlink. So para pagka pinupoint natin siya doon sa detail view, then pupunta tayo doon sa detail view. Okay? Then we'll also do it doon sa deep view natin. Okay, now that we have already finished um, linking all our text and numbers and metrics to our dashboard, all we need to do right now is to format it, no? give it a color, and making uh, some aesthetic effects uh, to our dashboards. That's what we're going to do next. So, ang shortcut key to format anything in, in Excel, let's say text boxes, or um, anything that you want to format, the shortcut key is control one. So this is now our finished dashboard. Um, kung nagustuhan nyo to, uh, please subscribe to my channel and then I'll come up with um, more dashboard tutorial like this. So thank you for watching and see you next time.